Hi everyone, this is Happiness Paul. In today's tutorials, we'll be learning on how to make a trendy sleeve with a drop bead at the tip. So the first thing I did was to take the wideness, the wideness of four and half, which I'm taking now, the wideness of four and half, and the length of seven and half. Length of seven and half. Wideness four and half. Length seven and half. Then I'll mark it all the way down. All right. So at this point now, I'll be dividing seven and half into two, which is three and half point two. Then I will mark the middle. I'll get. I'll mark it because I was trying to get the middle of it. So I'll make a minus of one inch here at the tip. Then the other side, the same one inch. Then I'll come up and minus one inch again. Then the other side, I'll still get my middle here. My middle of three and a half point two. Then one inch at the other side. Okay, I want everything to be at the middle. So I'll make a connection now. So I'm making a connection, a curved, a curved connection. All right, at both sides, up and down. All right, so I had to mark it on my hard stay, so I will be able to transfer to my main fabric. All right, so right now we'll just cut out the twist line. All right, so I'll get extra four of this. I'll get extra four of it, not just one, extra four. So I'll go ahead and cut extra four of it. Taking the same shape and all. Alright, so now I'll go ahead to join. I have four of the hard stay and four of my main fabric. Alright, so now I'll go ahead and join. My main fabric, the right side are facing each other. Then I'll be joining them one after the other. Then my hard stay, the shiny part will be on top of the wrong side of my main fabric. Right, so I used the velvet. Yeah, I used the velvet for it. So right now I will have to I'll have to join it. I'll have to sew it together using like half inch to make my sewing. Alright, so under is my hard stay and on top is the hard stay. The material is in between them. The hard stay is at the back, the wrong side of the fabric. All right, so this is it. I've joined it. I'll go ahead now to turn the surface up so we'll see how it looks like. So I'll go ahead and turn it up. All right, this is how it looks like. Afterwards, we'll give it a nice press. We'll give it a nice press. So I'm sewing the second one, the same thing, the main fabric in between the two hearts. The yeah. So ensure you arrange well, then you do your sewing. It's okay. All right. So I'll take this out in the upper part. So I'll have to turn it all up so that I'll be able to iron. But before then, I'll go ahead and sew because I also got a lining for it. The same shape and everything, four of it. So I'll go ahead and sew my lining too because, yes, I'll be using the lining to turn up. All right, so... I'll go ahead and take the same shape of my lightning. Alright. So I'll place this. Go ahead and sew. Alright. So for the curve, you can sew any part of the curve you want. It mustn't necessarily be a particular spot. You can sew any part you want. Alright, so We'll go ahead and iron now. We'll spread open like this and iron in at the middle. 
right so right now i've ironed it this is how it looks so smooth i've ironed this i've ironed it okay so this is the second one i've ironed the two already so right now i'll use my lining to cover and sew and turn it all up okay so you can use a pin to secure this if you want yeah you can use a pin to secure mind you the shipping side should face the other shipping side all right because it has to really fit in normal all right so i'll go ahead and mark the spot i'll be trimming out after sewing because i will actually sew at the line to trim the excess out Yeah, I'll do the same thing at the two. I'll do the same thing on the two sleeve. Alright, so at this point now, I'll start my sewing now from the joining parts. I'll start my sewing from the joining parts. Yeah. And take it gradually. Take it gradually. Remember, I marked a spot. I marked, I marked the line I want. So I will just have to sew on the line, so that I will be able to trim the excess out. So that's it. Okay, when doing yours, ensure to do it carefully. Okay, in order to get the desired result. Alright, so at this point now I'll go ahead and stitch this. Take it out take it out. Alright, so I'll go ahead and trim this excess. Trim the excess out. Because I want it round, not a four corner not in um four corner sheep okay so we are cutting it out all right so this is what we have now but well, i'll go ahead and open up a spot for it a spot for it where I can turn up just a little cut very little I'll be giving a very little cut where I can turn up from there it shouldn't be much very little alright so this is it this is what we have so right now i'll go ahead and turn from this side i'll turn it to the right side from this spot all right so i've turned it up i've turned it up so i'll just go ahead and iron it all right this is how it looks like inside this is the outer part okay so the second part of the sleeve i'll go ahead and sew it out the same method the way i did for the first i'll go ahead and do this all right so i'm just trimming it I'll go ahead and mark the side where i will sew and the side I'm, I'm cutting out all right so i want i'll start my sewing from the joining parts then i will ensure to sew on top of the traced line okay okay so this is it so at this point now just go ahead and stitch 
and take this out and still trim out the excess just the way I did for the front. Okay, now I'll be, I'll just up, take up a little hole from this. I'll just open it up. The spot I will turn from. Just a very little, it shouldn't be much. Okay, so this is it. I will just con turn it from this side. Just turn it from this side. Yeah. So we've turned it. The next thing to do now is to go ahead and iron it to give it a nice look. Okay. We'll go ahead and give this a nice press. Go ahead and iron it. Right. So it will relax properly. All right, so this is the two we have. So it's time for us. I've ironed it, and it's time for us to insert our bead to the tip of it. All right, so at this point now, we've started my bead. I started the attachment on the joining part. On the joining part. All right, so I'm trying to secure this now. And actually, we counted the bead. We use nine nine beads for each. Nine beads for each. Alright. We need we did we use nine beads for each each um yeah for each beads nine. Alright. And I started from the joining part because actually the bead will just be only on one part, it won't be on the other side. So we'll have to start from the joining part round to the other joining side then we'll stop there so this is it all right so i'll go ahead and secure this now because i want it to be really really fame i want it to be really fame so it will not just pour out like that so i'm going i'll go ahead and secure this you can go ahead and secure it as much as you want to be very sure that is very fame all right so this is it all right so for the spacing of the bead i'll be using one inch to space the bead for a start then after one one inch i will go back and fill it up and fill in between the one inch i don't want the, my bead to be scanty yes one inch is very very scanty the spacing of one inch is it will be very scanty so if I should use one inch after the one inch so in after I'm done fixing with one one inch to the other side I will still come back and fill in between the one inch all right so this is it so before attaching I'll make sure I secure my needle I secure the sewing I make it very thin before I start inserting the beads okay so like I said, it's nine beads for each. All right. So this is it. This is for the second one. If you find this video very helpful, kindly like, subscribe, comment to my channel. Don't forget to turn up your notification buttons to get notifications whenever we post a new video. All right. This is happiness, Paul. Don't forget to subscribe. So right now, I'm going ahead to, I'll go ahead to secure this. All right. So I've, we've added our nine beads already. So go ahead and secure this right now. You can go ahead and secure as much as you want. All the, all you want is just for it to be very, very thin. Because it really has to be thin. Okay. <clears throat> it really had to be filmed then if you're very sure that it's filmed they can go ahead and cut the thread out
Okay. So this is it now. This is it now. All right. So I'll go ahead now and measure the one inch, another one inch. Like I said, after the one inch measurements that we'll do, we'll still go back and fill in because we want it to be full at least. It has to be full, even if it's not too full, but it won't be as scanty as one one inch. Yeah. So this is it. All right. So we'll go ahead and do the bead work. At the end, this is what we have. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Alright, so this is Happiness Paul. Alright, so this is our final look. Sitting pretty on our clients. Alright, so kindly subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification button. Next, See you next time.